Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Weekend Today in Central New York. We are in weather authority alert mode for our next big snowmaker that arrives later today. We have winter weather advisories for areas to the south and southeast of Syracuse, not in Onondaga County, where we're not expecting to see a whole lot of snow from this. But it begins 5 p.m. today through 10 a.m. Monday, and the heaviest snowfall totals are going to be far to the south and east, where we even have a winter storm warning over Otsego County. So to sum up our next weather makers, we're expecting a big snowmaker later on today and into Monday, looking to impact that morning and afternoon commute tomorrow. So watch out for some slushy roads and be very careful driving. Looking ahead to the work week, we're tracking an even bigger snowy system that arrives Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, the snow totals are still a little uncertain because of how far away it is. But still, right now, we're looking to stay on the colder side of this system with snowfall accumulation. And our temperatures are also looking to stay chilly, which means all of the snow that we do get from these several systems is looking to stick on the ground, really not melting much. Temperatures this morning are starting off right around freezing and we are seeing some light lake effect flurries up by Watertown as we take a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. But quiet weather for Syracuse and the rest of central New York just starting off with some cloudy skies this morning. Our next big weather system sits to our south and west and it's going to take a little bit of a weird path. First it heads out to the east, then slides up the east coast. So that's why it's going to pick up a lot of extra moisture from the ocean and bring some snow across central New York as we stay on the colder side of this system as it stays out to our east. So that's why we're expecting to get mostly snow from this. So let's time it out with our future cast. Temperatures right now are starting around freezing this morning with cloudy skies. Those lake effect flurries up north are expecting to taper off through this morning. We're pretty much quiet until later this afternoon. Highs will reach the upper 30s and then sink down into the mid 30s through the afternoon. Sometime around 2 or 3 p.m. is when this system moves in. It starts off as some light sprinkles, then transitions over to lower elevation rain, higher elevation snow. Temperatures are still above freezing in Syracuse, but will be below freezing for areas north and south. As we head later on this evening, eventually Syracuse will drop to freezing and everyone switches over to snow tonight and it will be widespread across the area, even heavy at times. Still widespread even for that morning commute on Monday, but eventually through the day the snow becomes scattered and lighter, tapering off as we go towards sometime Monday night. Here's how much snow we can expect to get around a coating to an inch in Syracuse and for areas along the shoreline of Lake Ontario, one to three inches for the rest of central New York, including Rome, Utica, the hills across Onondaga County, as much as two to four inches, maybe locally five inches for the hills to the south by Moravia, Tully, Cortland, Marathon, the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks, but six inches or more for areas by Cooperstown. Now here's a check of your seven day forecast. A snowy system later today and overnight into Monday. Some lake effect snow showers on Tuesday. Then our next big snowmaker Wednesday and into Thursday. But Thursday we could see some rain then changing to snow. Then we have more chances for snow lake effect on Friday and into Saturday as well. Maggie.